Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl in now. And you wish that last. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this here power review. Hey. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do the YouTube thing that they're making us do now so that we can keep y'all coming back for more. Hey. That's not really true, but it kind of is true. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell. We're not one of those YouTubers that just keep popping up. When we ain't got nothing to say. When we pop up, we doing a yeah. review. So if you think the bell will get on your nerves, it's not. Yeah. We coming through for real. Make sure you actually rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It really doesn't matter. Once you're here, you're here, God damn hey. it. And of course, like I said, subscribe. Um, Let's go ahead and put it on out there. Um, Y'all had let me know in the comments. And um, y'all been rocking with us for a while. Y'all know how we do. We don't really look at the numbers. And when you're a YouTube on the back end, you can't see your numbers until you go searching for what subscriber count you have yeah you gotta go look, look yeah um over ten thousand. Hey. that's all y'all appreciate it man so y'all give y'all selves hey. a little round of applause yes indeed and then did y'all come through last week on the power review or what yes y'all did i just looked at the numbers fifteen thousand four hundred and thirty three of y'all suckers yeah came through came and, and through. supported the players and a whole lot of y'all came through. We hadn't seen y'all since last year. Yeah. So welcome to the family reunion. Hey. God darn it. You get your t-shirt over there, put your t-shirt on. <laughs> mm-hmm. And go and greet the greet your grandma and them. <laughs> you stupid. All right. Okay. Last week. What had happened was we had company over last week. Yeah. So we watched the review and immediately went on camera. Something we probably shouldn't have done. We probably should have sat there and kind of just gathered our thoughts a little bit now when i'm looking at the comments i'm agreeing with a whole bunch of y'all when i when y'all said them guy doing cards ain't come from the hermit nah, ass there was a there was a bluff yeah it definitely was a bluff and yeah. i'm sitting here and i was like why did i think yeah. of that yeah why did i think but that's why we family say everybody yeah. has their own thoughts and opinions so we we bring it all together and we come to conclusions as a family yeah you know some of us be wrong. We just got to be humble enough to say, uh, so nah, I, that, that, I mean, none of us is getting paid here, so it's just all fun, man. We're getting paid. I mean, yeah, but you understand what I'm But saying. it's, trust me, when I go to the store, the only thing I can add extra in that cart off of YouTube money is maybe a, 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 <laughs> a little case of soda and some peanuts. <laughs> trust. Hey. It ain't about the money. So, he's going to leave, but I'm going to say a few things. Go on and get it off your chest. Because I'm a little upset. Because this didn't give me what I thought it was going to give me coming off of the tale of last week. Yeah. Okay, we came off the tale of Dre showing up at the gravesite giving Ghost this card. Okay. And then we pop on this week. And it seemed like it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, the cars, yeah. Now, somebody else <laughs> had said in the comments, said, Ghost ain't never been rattled about them cars before. Why should they be now? Which kind of plays into what happened this week. Because... When they all got together to even discuss the cards. And they was like, oh, you got one? Oh, I got one? <laughs> Bible's was had delivered to me, yeah. put in my pocket. And I'm sitting here like, so this, mm -hmm. this the intensity that we're going we gonna to deal with these cards on. Yeah. I ain't appreciate it. Unless they think it's a bluff and just ain't saying nothing. We, I'm going to get there because I got something to say about that too. <laughs> all right. Hi. Right. You sure you got everything off your chest? For now. For now. But yeah, but like you said, said no. it didn't. <laughs> it didn't kind of pick back up off of where we left that last week. But we still are on the same lines that Tasha is still grieving um, Rana's death. Cause we see her in the room, on her knees, looking at her picture. Sad moment. Terrible. And that's a bad thing for a parent to lose a child, especially this way, knowing that mm. you had, you know, some kind of responsibility in making that happen. Yeah. So we see uh, Ghost comes in, and Tasha say, "I can't stay out of the room." and you can't come in. So Tasha decides to um, suggest to Ghost, hey, the pastor that did <laughs> Raina's funeral said, hey, come on down to the church. We got a little yeah, grief session. group going on. Y'all should come down there. It could really help you out. And Tasha was like, I need to talk to somebody. You know, I can't handle this by myself. And Ghost, of course, no, we can't do that. Because you get down there, you say the wrong thing. It's going to link back. Tariq is going to get in trouble. But at this point, Tasha's like, no. Bucket. I need some bucket. I need some help. I, you know, I can't deal with this by herself. So, Ghost gave in. They went to the, uh, to the group. And it was this couple. Matter of fact, the dude, that it was a couple, is from, um, if you love you is wrong. wrong. Yeah, the lawyer. Yeah, so. The one that had Eddie Hogtie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
he tells everybody, they tell everybody that their son got killed by a drunk driver. Mm -hmm. And every day he's driving in the street, see this dude in his weird uniform, going to the liquor store. This is his work uniform. Yeah, his work uniform. But he been stalking him. Yeah. He ain't just been seeing him. This dude been stalking this dude. Yeah, because at this point, he was like, is it wrong that I want this, this guy dead? And the council was like, no. I mean, that's... Yes. The that's, process. That's normal. So, Tasha was getting ready to, you know, raise her hand so she could say something. But Ghost held her hand down because he don't want her to say nothing. And that's like us, man. It's like, mm. we don't let each other express. Who's us? Huh? Who's us? Oh, black folk. <laughs> I want yeah. you to make it plain. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it wasn't her fault. She wanted to open up, but he wanted to keep it on the wraps. Because he was afraid, like I said, he was afraid that she was going to say something that was going to get them in trouble. But ain't that but, like us, like you yeah. said. We want people to be helped. Yeah. And we want them to get over processes. But we don't want them to be able to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Exactly. Because me telling the truth might expose your hard parts. Yeah. And we have dealt with this in real life where you got people that's dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. They're acting out. They're doing this. They're doing that. But grandma and them and auntie and them and da-da-da-da-da really don't want that child to really talk to about him. nothing no, uh -uh. because talking about something may mean that your uncle the guy that you mess with uh -huh. all that skit might come out yep and they'll tell you um you can tell her you can, don't tell nobody but god yeah and unfortunately that doesn't work all the time no nah, you need to get you that tell him out. but you got to tell somebody that's human too that will mm -hmm. help you out so I'm glad that they at least went to the meeting at the church because that was the beginning because we're going to see by that story that started getting ghosts' wheels turning. It's like, okay, I'm dealing with something bad, but for a lack of words, it was a more, it was, how can I say it? Their, their child's death was by the accident of somebody else's mm -hmm. negligence, but their child is deaf because of their own negligence. Their child is deaf? Well, their child is deaf. <laughs> Uh, Rainer is because of their negligence. So, yeah. Ghost got all this turning over in his head like, okay, man, but we're going to see later on he kind of fixed it in yeah. his own way. His Well, his way how he do things. But uh, we still I'm got still Keisha. Confused, though. Yeah, I'm still confused. So, now we still got Keisha. She's still uh, stressing because she's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Nobody's mm -hmm. being straight. Every time they, she asks questions, nobody don't want, want to tell yeah. her nothing. But they want her to cover. But they want to cover. Yeah, that's, yeah, we do that too. Yeah, we do. Say, hey, it's such and such call I was over here. Well, where were you at? Don't worry about that. Just know that I was, no, 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 no. What you ain't going to do is have yeah. fans bust it on me. But, <laughs> but Tommy, um, Tommy brought up a good point. He was like, Keisha, you really don't need to know. Cause that's what he, she was asking. Like, hey. Tasha don't want to give me answers. Can you at least tell me something? Let me know what happened. He was like, it's best for you not to know. We got you covered. But she was like, but I got a cover. But mm -hmm. all I know is they want, want me to say that I knew where they were. Yeah. But I mm -hmm. love Tommy's little part in here. Because I, y'all know I love me some crazy Tommy. But I love when Tommy came in and he had kind of like a heart to heart talk with Keisha. And he was like, I was there when both of those kids were born. Yeah. And... I failed them. I'm the godfather. I, didn't, I, I didn't was supposed her. to protect them. Yeah. And I didn't. And I'm saying to myself, you know how crazy time it do. Mm -hmm. This means somebody going to get killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody. Look, if Tariq don't get to him first. Yeah. For real. For that's real. what I really think is going to happen. And he told Keisha, hey, I owe you. But I'm th we thinking that's from the uh, hair shop. Because, you know, they, he, they screwed that up. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Behind her back. So now we have the Mr. Snake in the Grass councilman. I mm. I do not trust that dude. Well, he proved this up this yeah, time. Yeah, he he this whole uh BIPI project ain't got nothing to do with ghosts. This is all for uh -huh. his benefit and for his gain. And the reason why I say it, I don't know what um I was gonna talk about this part, but your moment they had the flyers made. And guess who face on on the fly? Uh -huh. His face. I was like, where is Ghostface at? It's supposed to be about them. They was building together. Huh. Why Ghostface ain't on this thing? So he tells Ghost, you know, we need to figure out who killed Rainer. Huh. Because you coming off as a clean guy, these donors, it's going to be like, huh. how you so clean and your daughter end up dead. As if... That doesn't happen. Yeah, it, doesn't ha it happens to everybody. So he's trying to get this little clean image. So let's, let's have this press conference. 
and you guys can explain what happens so the people can be on our side and the donors can open the checkbook up. Cause after all, we trying to get to this founder spot. You're sitting there probably even breaking down mm -hmm. the donations. We want to get to this 15 million and then we can go out and we can have a picnic and give all the kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and you know, name the building after random. We can do all that once we get to this $15 million right here. So that lets me know it ain't even mm -hmm. nothing about Rainer, ain't nothing about Ghost. He's trying to establish himself in that community as a councilman so people can look up to him. So I got to- oh, and so don't I, forget that you're talking about some give the reward. Yeah. Was it 50,000? Yeah, 50,000, yeah, we need to do the reward. I forgot about that, do a reward so people can, in the community can start helping us. And of course, Ghost ain't down for that because Somebody yeah. start talking, it's gonna link back to them. Yeah, he was like, I'm not giving you the goddamn bullets. <laughs> to <laughs> shoot me with. Yeah. yeah. So he said, I'm gonna go talk to my wife. Which I which we already knew Tasha was not gonna be down for it. Mm -mm. So of course we see him ask Tasha, hey, can we, you know, councilman wanna do this because he said it's gonna be a good look for our business and also all this gonna be in the name of Raina, which that's another manipulation. You know, mm -hmm. you use their daughter against them to get your own way. But, uh, but I'm trying to figure out why in the world, as savvy as Ghost is, why is he kind of going with this? Because he wants out the game. He wants out the game, but you know what this dude is doing. Yeah. But sometimes it's, uh, the grass might be a little bit more greener on this side than the other side he on. Stay with the devil you know. Yeah, stay with, <laughs> yeah exactly. Stay with the devil you know, then be with the devil you don't know. So, um, Tasha disagreed and he told councilman, he came up with another, another plan talking about some, I got something else going mm -hmm. on. Just go ahead and get her over here. It's like and, a mixer. mixer yeah, a mixer. Thing, yeah, mix the thing, get her over here. So he got her there and it's a press what? conference. It's a press conference. He got it set up. Soon they walk in the door. Hey, come to the, um, the uh, Raina's mom and dad. Uh, and come they got and some words. They got words. come and say a few words. So that put him on the spot, of course. They ain't gonna be like, no. That's like <laughs> I can remember when we was little growing up in church and oh, you God. didn't you didn't wanna pray, you didn't wanna <laughs> read no scriptures, you didn't wanna get up on the pulpit and say nothing. But sometimes people will put you on the spot. And you almost got to do it. Mm -hmm. That's almost what they had. They had they couldn't make a scene and be like, nah, we ain't nah, we don't want to talk. So, but I was still thinking in my mind, Mike B would say, I wish he was doing this review too. Um, didn't Ghost really see that coming? I think he did, but yeah. I would have thought that Ghost would have picked up on game that you gonna walk into an ambush. Yeah. So kind of be prepared. And so even, e so even in the ambush, Tasha goes to proceed to get some stuff off her chest and Ghost once again, Put brakes on her greatness. I would have put brakes on that yeah, one. Cause cause she can, cause she can, yeah, because she said, we are all responsible. I was like, every last, last one, one of us. was like, Ghost was like, Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. <laughs> Tasha. What we ain't going to do right here is get all of us locked up. <laughs> Just because you try to get free. Uh -uh. What I said before, can't get free if you don't tell the truth of that. But. I, I got a feeling that if she if she don't get help, she gonna crack. She gonna crack and she gonna end up doing something that she gonna regret. Then she gonna have some bodies up underneath her belt. Huh? Got more add to that? Nope. So we see uh, Sammy. Oh gosh. Roll up and pick up uh, Tommy, cause Tommy done fucked up again. Now didn't I tell y'all last week that when Tommy messed around? With those got don Italians as he yeah, called Yeah, Italians. Not Italians, but I Italians. Like iPhone. <laughs> that he was going to buck up some stuff. Yeah. And he was going to make some good connections a little shaky. And that's exactly what he freaking exactly did. Exactly what he did. And, and look, Sam had told Teresa. Yep. Said basically, I ain't no snitch, but your son out here. Uh, you behind bars protecting this family on the outside. Yeah. From the inside. But he, he ran bucks get up. Yep. Doing his own deals without coming through us. I said, oh God, here you go. So they go to the warehouse where the Italian, <laughs> the one that got shot, is fighting for his life. Because we know you're in the game. You can't go to the regular hospital. Because mm -mm. all this kid comes down because they're going to ask you questions. But uh, make a long story short, the guy died. So Sam was like, now you have two bodies that you have to explain to Vince. So I'm like, what two bodies? Because I, I don't remember the other Italian getting shot. I don't remember. So I, uh, you know, 
But like Mike B say, it don't even matter. It don't. It don't even matter. So we see Tommy went and talked to his dad in jail. He was like, you wrong. Mm -hmm. You should have came and talked to me first. So whatever punishment that Vince give you. Take it. Take it. <laughs> so we see them meeting with, with Vince. And got Don Sammy done lied for a got Don Tommy and told him that he fixed, he, he, he fixed he it. it. He handled it. He handled it. I was like, but he didn't. He didn't. But I only way I think he did that was because of the strength of Teresa. Because of Teresa, he had respect for Teresa. That Teresa, matter of fact, because he said Teresa went to jail to protect his family. Mm-hmm. Hey, so you ain't gonna buck it up. And Hank of Tommy, I, I, I appreciate it, man. Bow. He said, "Ho." Oh. oh. He said. Now, I told your daddy I wouldn't let nobody lay a hand on you. Yep. But basically, that don't mean I can't whoop your A. Yep. And that's what I did. Exactly what he did. I said, go ahead, Sam. He gave me one of them old man punches, too. <laughs> yeah, I love Tommy. But Tommy, every time Tommy fucks stuff up, Ghost got to help him get out of it. Because you remember late, um, at one part in the episode, Kanan has said, you know, that none of this skit would never even happen if it wasn't for Tommy. And I thought about it. True. Yeah, because you mama Ghost had got out the game. Hmm. He got the club going. The heck on time and come on back. He want to be be established and got himself in trouble. And Ghost had to come back in the game to help him get out. Mm -hmm. Killed Holly. He had yep. to come help him out with that. Yep. So that's why Ghost is back in. So heck on time me again. Messed up another $2 million deal. And that was on, uh, what's the guy name? Um, I can't even, I can't even. Um, I, I know, Jason. Jason. Yep. Mess up a deal with Jason. He's like, now you owe me two million dollars. I should kill you. But unfortunately, Kane and the ghost was there. And now he put them into it. So but I, Jason had told him, he said, since it seems like you can't leave St. Patrick alone when I told you. Yeah. <laughs> since, I don't know what this uh, what this connection is that you have, but since he here with you. You get him to help you fix your skit. Yeah. And but he was saying skit. it as if Ghost wasn't standing there. Yes. But then when he talked to Kaden, he won't look at that. Yeah, he was, he was like, like, who the hell is that? this guy? He said, just an old friend. Well, old friend, friend you in it too. You in it too. I said, well, dirt. I said, here we go, classic Tommy, fucking up stuff, and now they got to be a part of it to help clean it up. And that is called Kill the Jimenez. Kill the Jimenez and Dre. They only had Dre to kill. But now you got to hit him in. Connect to. Well, Killer Lloyd, basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh so, my God. Classic Tommy again. So they was like, so I didn't sign up to what? kill no Jimenez. No. Uh uh. Tommy was like, hey, that's how it's gonna happen. Because to be they know it. when it, that when that happens, that's gonna pull them further. In, well, gonna pull Ghost further into the game. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, this new this I don't know if it was a new dude, but this dude with Dre. Think he knew everything, but okay. he reminds me of Dre. Before Dre tried to become a connect, always want to do his own thing. Mm -hmm. Try to, you know, real reckless. Yeah, real Thirsty. reckless. He saw one of the Taurus Locos, and he had this dude in the car. What his name was? With the flip? Spanky. Spanky. Whatever. Somebody. Yeah, whatever his name. Uh, he was like, roll around, roll around, and they ended up shooting him. Came back and told Dre. Dre went off. Be like, you stupid. Now that's gonna leak back to us. Mm. And so that's crazy how dumb he is because he ain't been in the game long enough to know that a kill it don't leaks. need, yeah, it leaks and they're going to find out it was him. <sighs> it was called Damage Control. This guy no episode is called Damage Control. Yeah. But for me, it should have been everybody bucking up. Because nothing went as planned. No. Nothing. Nothing. No. None of it went as planned. So yeah, he kills him. So, um, Dre... Because we know Dre is still dealing with uh, Diego. Mm -hmm, Diego. Yeah. Diego. We saw a scene <laughs> where, where they walked in to talk to him. And he had his chick up against the wall. The, the window. window. And had a black chick. I don't know what she doing. What she, she was, was coaching. Doing. Put me in coach. Yeah. I'm ready. And he was like, oh, we're going to come back. We're going to come back he later. Said, he was no. like, no, this is about ready to be over. Stay here. Watch. But while he was stroking, but looking back at them like this. I said, I feel real I'm like, right now. Um, this, this, this is a little weird. So, and he I, literally pulled out the uh, and came over there and just started, started talking. talking to them. Thing laying and swinging all in front of him while he talking. And to Dre him. was like, he was like, cause you know you try not to look, but sometimes your eyes. So you got to be like right here. <laughs> yeah, you be like. I said, Dre, don't look that. 
But I said that all to say that Dre had saw him in the club and he was like, because you did such a good job, now I'm going to let you get a piece off. He was like, nah, bro. Nah, okay. bro, I'm good. I man. was like, that's nasty. And he was like, no. Do you it. going to do it. Now. I so. Said, I said, don't. So we had been talking about last season that Dre me. never got in it. <laughs> so I was like, well, this is Dre's opportunity to get some. And Not under these circumstances. Yeah, though. but. He was trying to get out with the girl. He, she was like, no, I got it. We got to do it because he will sniff my puss. And if I ain't wet, you did. And me too. And me too. I said, oh, it's like that. And then this fool came running through the door. Yeah, running through the door. And, and Dre was like, uh-uh. I'm out. He said, no, no I want to watch. Now, hold on, Dre. I know. I know that this was a sudden move. You won't prepare for any of this. But you was a single guy. Single guys should be running around here with at least some cheap Trojans. Uh huh. You ain't had none of that in your pocket because hmm. you look like you just slid right on up in this girl. That's exactly and what And she probably is. still sticky from Diego. The morning. <laughs> and yeah, because he, 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 you know, he let go that, that secret sauce inside of her. <laughs> <laughs> and Dre was like, you know what, Buck does. I got to go. He just walked on about the bathroom. Yeah. I, I don't. But this was one part. Now, this is where I say the Jimenez is not backing up Dre. No. Nah. But because this happened, I think Ghost thinks they really are. Yeah, because he walked in there and he saw them talking. He went to the club and he saw them talking, like I said. Mm -hmm. And in his mind, he, he gave that look like, oh, oh Skip. Oh, Skip, he right. He, they must be really backing him because why would he be here sitting in VIP? Yeah, with them. So I said, okay, so this may be a little problem going on. Yeah. So um, we see uh, Ghost all through the whole episode been trying to talk, trying to reach Angela. So I need to talk to you. We need to talk. So he was sitting in the truck, and then we seen that dude um, coming from the liquor store. I was like, okay, let's get ready to happen. Is that dad out there with a gun around the corner, and he going to kill that dude? I was That's like, oh, I jump. He going to kill that dude? The heck on um, what you call it, come around the corner. Don't you know drunk driving kills people? And Ghost killed the dude. And that's a ghost. I'm just like, okay, I'm, Ghost. I'm uh, like, you trying to get out the game, but now you done kill. I, I didn't get it. Yeah, I, I. I got it. I got it on the sense of you felt like somebody needed to do something to somebody to make this hurt go away. Well, but you just put yourself in a position where you could be going to jail for some skit. Yeah. Because you just think about it, once the they find out that this dude is dead, and they link it back that the dude that was in the counseling group sold it that night, and then all of a sudden, a few days later, this guy's dead. After this dude said he huh. want him dead. And y'all have a reputation for making people disappear? But it could be bad for the other guy because they might think that him. he did it because he wanted he to see, it. Yeah, he confessed <laughs> that he wanted to kill the dude. So it's a lot. So I don't know how in the world that's going to pan out. Listen, what y'all going to do is leave my boy Proctor alone. All he want to do is become the <laughs> shady lawyer that he once was. <laughs> that he is, that he was born to be. Yeah. Because <laughs> now he has to go um, before for his hearing to see if he can actually get reinstated so that he can practice law again and all this. Now, John Mark, like he said, got a hard on for him. Yep. John Mark is... See, what's going on is, and this is what I took from it, because there was a lot going on that I was like, what is happening here? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Now, I think Angela and them, they don't found the gold gun. Y'all remember the gold gun that Diego and his sister yeah. used to kill old girl in the house and took the baby and the, and the husband too? Yeah. Well, they don't actually got ballistics on that gun and they're able to trace everything, bring it all back full circle, all that good stuff. They want to take down him. And a whole bunch of other people in the mix. But of course they need something solid. Now at the same time they got this thing going on. With old Proctor over here. Because they want to get ghosts. So god darn bad. That Mark is over here. Trying to make sure that. Okay. Whoever I get to talk. Needs to be one of those people. That when they talk. It's going to be so credible that. Of course ghosts ain't going to be able to wiggle himself out of Yeah. And that would be his lawyer. So now he over there messing with Proctor. <laughs> now Proctor can talk his way out of uh, anything. 
But what a lawyer can do sometimes is talk their way out when it comes to another lawyer. Yeah. So Mop don't summons Terry to come on down and be a witness in this case. And he started doing good. And then basically he was like, um, I don't agree with his practices. Whole lot of stuff that he did, I didn't agree with. I believe it was a conflict of interest. This, that, and the third. So now Mark feels like he he had a point where he could probably get Proctor to turn over on Ghost and them. And I said, oh, Skip. Because, of course, the only thing that makes Proctor really eh is his daughter. And he kept saying, how are you going to take care of your daughter if you can't practice law? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, y'all gonna leave Proctor alone. But what's what's so so fucked up is you got two shady lawyers <laughs> in the courtroom trying to defend themselves. <laughs> oh, both of oh, them shady. Or one trying to stand up for the other one, but really not. It, <clears throat> it, yeah, it's, it's too much. Believe me, it'll come up again. We'll talk about it some more. Yeah. So all in all, I, I, what I think is going to end up panning out for this season. I ain't into predictions, but I ain't look mm -hmm. up none. But this, I think the whole thing gonna turn out that Kanan is gonna be the one to try to get back on top. So I think he gonna kill Dre. He gonna kill uh, uh, the Jimenez. But he gonna leave Ghost alone because Ghost wanna get out of the game. Cause he already did say he told this guy he yeah. said um we can go to the club right now see some women and then when all this stuff pan out we gonna take over Tommy's organization. Yep. How you gonna take over Tommy's organization? You got to kill him. Oh, I forgot him. about Tommy, yeah. You gotta kill him. What we not gonna do, Kane? We not gonna do that. Nah. We're not gonna do that. Yes indeed. And that was that's pretty much that was, that was the episode. Yeah. So it was else. it was a lot more a lot milder episode than um of course. than the first one, but of course they need to build a story so we know how power works. But yeah. like we said, y'all can get on down in the in the comments there and let us know y'all thoughts on everything. Oh, forgot this part. Tariqa is going to choke. Going to choke, yeah. Yeah, but I believe he's still going to do something before you go. Yeah. I think he's going to do something when he get the choke. <laughs> and he promised his mama, he said, you know what, I'm going to go over there. I ain't going to say nothing to nobody. I'm going to be a good kid. And I'm going to make better decisions. <laughs> she was like, okay. But they still, they still trying to piece stuff together. How he know this one, how he know that one. Angela is on the case. And you know, Angela, yeah. she trying to hold up her end. For protecting herself yep and trying to protect ghost at the same time a little bit but ghost been trying to call her tail yeah but i think all the all their house of cards it's is coming. getting ready to collapse straight from the va the dirty dirty sound two up two, two down, down. Ha.